the Ascot Hurdle will kick off day two. It's a two mile three furlong grade two. Uh, we've got a fit on point for Darren Thompson, delightful for Joshua Sutherland, going for a four timer. Code Black, Graham Clutterbuck, Fifth Obey. Oh, Darren Thompson, San Jose, Terrible, Vinny Gerard, The Rock, David Hooley, Tutan Carmen, Kevin Meenan, Wayfinder, Joshua Sutherland, Dark Shadows, Leon Van Rensburg, Gold Staple, Alex Cherry, Honeysuckle, Paul Rhodes, Jailbreak, Leon Van Rensburg, Natural Beauty for Graham Clutterbuck, Odyssey for Paul Rhodes, Ozark, Fred, Vinny Gerard, and Value Club for Craig Beckwith. So 16 then in this. Decent sized field. And away they go. They're making their way down towards the first of the ten flights and they all safely negotiate that one with Tutan Carmen off into the lead leading by about three lengths and down on this near side honeysuckle was just about a second now been overtaken by value club as they all start to make a maneuver slightly towards the rail but it's Tutan Carmen who's clear and got the lead by about four or five lengths to value club in second honeysuckle is in third then the rock and dark shadows together with being pushed along behind them jailbreak code black is after that the two darren thompson horses are running together fifth obey and fifth odd point as they get to the second because they're all safely over and um, odyssey is just the early back marker but it's tootin carmen runs up the ascot straight and past this big impressive stand this will be the final flight on the next circuit and tootin carmen won't be there if he carries on jumping like that because that was an awful mistake to make right in front of the stands and value club is now within three quarters of a length in second oh, just being eased back as they come up past the winning post in with a complete circuit of the track to go and Tutan Carmen is in the lead by two lengths again now from value club in second the rock is in third then honeysuckle four the Leon Van Rensburg horses together dark shadows and jailbreak then gold staple with down on this near side fit on point the first of the Darren Thompson horses on that one's outside is Ozark Frid then Delightfuls after that one and uh, Code Black is in the mid division as well and towards the back Odyssey and Fifth Obey are the back two as they race downhill now down the back part of the track who race towards flight number four and Tootin Carmen clearing the lead jump that one much better than the last one they all got over it okay Tootin Carmen's lead He's a good two and a half lengths now from Jailbreak, who's just poked his head into second. And the Rock and Honeysuckle, Ozark Fred is making ground, so is Value Club. And they're nicely grouped behind the leader as they get over the fifth. The one struggling at the back now is Gold Staple or Alex Cherry, but it's Tootin Carmen who continues to lead for Kevin Meenahan then by about three or four lengths now to Jailbreak in second as they get to the sixth, which they all successfully negotiate, although Fifth Obey. He's beginning to struggle out the back. And it's Tootin Carmen who's still clear. From Jailbreak who's now just second. Value Club on the inside. He's going well. Then comes Ozark for in the rock and code black. Delightful is after that one in Honeysuckle. Wayfinder is trying to get into it running wide. And San Jose Terrible is near the back as well. Also Dark Shadows has lost its place. But they pass the seven pole in there. And they've still got four to jump. And Tootin Carmen is in the lead. But now joined by Jailbreak over that fourth last and Jailbreak jumped into the lead. So it's Jailbreak who's gone on now. Code Black responds and goes with him. Tootin Carmen quickly drops back to third. Then Value Club. Here comes Dark Shadows now making that one's move as well as they race towards the third last flight. Tootin Carmen's trying to fight back. Jailbreak's got the lead. Over to third last they go. Jailbreak landed in front. Tootin Carmen second. Then Dark Shadows and Value Club. Delightfuls after that one. Honeysuckle being pushed along on the inside. The Rock is now trying to regain his position. Those aren't free. He's going to try and come round the outside. The Joshua Sutherland number two, uh, Graham Clutterbuck horses are running very wide on the track. And they've got two to jump. And it's Tootin Carmen Jailbreak. Jailbreak, just the leader, begins to forge ahead again there. And Jailbreak suddenly goes too clear. It's Jailbreak coming down to the second last flight with a lead of two lengths. Gets over it nicely. Tootin Carmen, a good jump in second. Fifth Obey is now running on into third. Then comes Ozark Frid and Value Club. Delightfuls after that one, but it's Jailbreak who races towards the final flight with a clear lead. Fifth Obey looks the big danger now as they get to the final flight. Jailbreak landed in front. Fifth Obey jumps it quicker. It's Jailbreak in the lead. Fifth Obey is getting closer. There's still a furlong to go. Jailbreak is in the lead. Fifth Obey is trying to close. Jailbreak is still in front. 
front, Fifth Obey is getting closer, Jailbreak needs a line to come, Fifth Obey is lunging now, Fifth Obey is beginning to get up on the near side, and Fifth Obey is going to take the Ascot hurdle, Fifth Obey wins it, Jailbreak is second, Fifth on point was third, and Honeysuckle was running on, Gold Staple was last, and Darren Thompson's horse just had the time to run down, Leon Van Rensburg's Jailbreak, so Fifth Obey takes it for... Darren Thompson, jailbreak second for Leon Van Rensburg, fit on point for Darren Thompson again was third, value club for Craig Beckwith's always in the front group was fourth, and the rock for David Hooney was fifth.